Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. This is another in my geometric slash repeating patterns design series in which I use this stamp set from Do Crafts to create some cards using geometric shapes. So far we've done arrows and squares and today we're going to do hexagons. Don't worry if you haven't got this stamp set, you can create these cards with any geometric stamps that you have. Here I have two cards that are made using a selection of the hexagon stamps. They're made using the same design principles, the same techniques more or less, but I've got two very different vibes. I've got an earthy vibe here and a light and airy vibe here. This one I used Ranger Archival Links. This one, the pinks were Catherine Pula and I used some homemade embossing powders to create these green accents. This one I stamped and heat embossed in white ink on a piece of card that I'd coloured with some of the archival ink. And this one I coloured some paper with a Catherine Pula ink, die cut it and popped it on its shadow and added it on. And this one's got copper Nuvo drops and this one's got gold Nuvo drops. So I thought I'd show you how I created this diagonal pattern today and we'll create a third card. These are just panels, I haven't stuck them on a card blank yet. For my inks today, I'm going to use Ranger Archival inks. I find these work very well with silicon stamps, which this is. And I think we'll go for Paradise Teal, Cobalt and maybe some Purple. Majestic Violet. And we'll have blue for the background and then purple for the pops of colour, I think. This is a piece of smooth white cardstock, about four by six inches. And I've popped my hexagon stamp on here with the two points of the hexagon in line with the edge of the paper. The thing about this stamp is it's kind of a grungy stamp. The hexagons aren't perfect, so they're not kind of lined up perfect. They haven't got perfect edges. So that actually is a benefit because it means if you don't line up your stamp quite right, it's not gonna look wrong because everything's a little bit wonky anyway. So I'm going to add some stick glue to my door and that will help my stamp stick because silicon stamps aren't as sticky as photopolymer stamps and I think we'll start with the cobalt and we'll do that one as the middle row of colour get a nice coating on that flip it over press it down and just hold it for a couple of seconds to let the ink transfer that's come out nicely i'm going to wipe that off because i need to move my stamp it's got sticky glue on the back of it now so that's perfect it will transfer to the door and stay stuck nicely and i'm going to line up my stamp here if i line it up like that and then push it up like that it will be in the right place i can put my head right over it to make sure it's lined up where i want it i'm going to draw my paper down a bit because now my stamp needs to go off the edge. Now we've got a complete row of hexagons. I'm gonna do a row either side using the Paradise Teal, but instead of having the stamp that way around, I'm just gonna flip it so the patterns are spread out a bit. And I can put my head right over it to get that lined up so it locks into place. I think I'll add a little bit more glue down here. So 
So that's a Paradise Teal Row finished. You can use an acrylic block to build these patterns. I find it easier to use a stamp positioner because I can take my time to line up the uninked stamp and then when it's in the right position, pick it up, ink it and stamp it. If you use a stamp block, you need to ink it get it in the right position and then stamp it. And so there's a little bit more hit and miss to it. But if you've only got an acrylic block, you can definitely still do this kind of pattern. So now I'm just gonna put another row here. And I flipped my paper around so I can just keep this aligned to the left. And I think I'll just pop that there. So that's in place, it's still sticky and I can just get on and do the third row. If you haven't got a strip of hexagons, you can still, if you've got the patience, build up a pattern like this using single stamps. It will just take a little bit longer. And there we have our pattern. You could just carry on doing something like this and fill the whole thing with this repeating pattern. It doesn't have to be a diagonal. You don't have to use three rows. You could just do two, you could do four or five or what have you. But that's how you build up a repeating pattern using that particular stamp. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some of these hexagons. Again, these are quite grungy and imperfect and I'm gonna stamp some so that I can cut them out and on my stamp positioner I find if I try and stamp right here it can over squish the stamp and splurge the image so I'm going to move them over this way a bit so I don't squish the stamp and also by lining them up close to the bottom of the piece of paper I can drag it down in stages maybe I'll even move those and move them down a little bit more. I can drag it down in stages and get maybe one, two, three, four rows on. And I'll pop a bit of glue on again, just to help them stick to the door. So I hope you're finding all the sort of silicon stamp hints useful because sometimes with silicon stamp sets, we can get a bit frustrated with them because they're not as, say, easy to use as photopolymer stamps but if you've got them in your stash it's it's a good idea to use them they just take a little bit more finessing to get a decent stamped image they're fussier stamps to work with so now i'm using the what is it majestic violet so this is going to be my pop of colour, my accent colour. If you've got hexagon dies, you might find that they fit quite nicely around your stamped images. My hexagon dies don't quite work with these stamps, so I'm going to cut them out individually. And I find it's easier to roughly cut them up into individual bits of paper and then cut them out neatly. So all I'm gonna do is take, I'm not even using detail scissors for this because it's just a, a bunch of straight cuts. I'm just gonna cut maybe a millimeter or two away from the outside line. And it might be a bit fiddly, but if you want to make them look like die cuts, get an embossing tool and run around the edge just to bevel that edge but it's probably not necessary because they're quite small and I don't think you're really going to notice. Right I'm going to cut all these out and then I'll come back to you. So now I've got my card panel and four lots of each of the three stamped hexagons and for my sentiment I'm going to use this gold foiled happy birthday die cuts because I think the gold goes nicely with the blue and the purple. And I'm thinking a bit like I did with this one, having the 
big white open hexagons as a background to my sentiment maybe just using three of them the three the three best ones and then dotting the others around so i'm going to put the big ones flat on the background sentiment a bit of dimension I'm going to layer it on two white cardstock happy birthdays and I've spread some high tack glue on my glass mat dipped my die cut in it and then I will sandwich these together make sure everything's aligned nicely Pop some more glue on that one and add the gold one on top. And I've got three stacked there. I can add some glue to the back of that, pick it up and pop it on there. Now I'll add in more hexagons. I'll do the middle size ones next and I will put those on craft foam. And we'll bring in the little ones and they can layer the not on craft foam. And for a little bit of extra dimension and shine and interest and energy, I'm going to add some white Nugo drops and the beautiful thing about the archival inks is they are permanent once dry so these white drops won't absorb the colour they will sit on top of the ink and stay white and there we go three celebratory cards made using the same stamps and the same design idea but three quite different results we've got this strong woody earthy one this light ethereal one and then something in between i think right i hope you have enjoyed the video maybe it's given you some hints and tips if it has please do leave a thumbs up a comment like and subscribe and i'll see you back here very soon for the next video in this geometric shape slash repeating pattern series thanks for watching bye for now